We just in a, in a the, the previous hour of coverage learned how many uh, passports are on the open market. They belong to now dead Syrians. And if you bear any resemblance at all uh, for some Western currency, you can pick up a passport of a deceased person. Um, the uh, so there's that. The other debate is we talk about the rigorous vetting. But some of these folks don't have a paper trail. I suppose you could interview them. I suppose you could polygraph them. Um, but I suppose we also should admit some bad apples and bad actors are probably going to get through the filter. Well, look, no system is perfect, uh, but this system is pretty comprehensive. Uh, since 9-11, we've probably let in something on the neighborhood of 785,000 refugees from across the world, and only about a dozen have actually popped up flags of concerns about terrorism. Uh, the vast majority of Syrian refugees let into this country, and we've let in thousands already, are women and children. Only about 2% are uh, single men. Uh, so the profile uh, of the folks we're looking at doesn't really match uh, the vast majority majority of people who are coming to this country. And so when you layer that on top of the fact uh, that we go through this year and a half long screening process, uh, I think we're doing all we can to keep the American people safe while also living up to our values uh, in uh, welcoming people uh, to our shores who have suffered enormous violence uh, in other parts of the world. And so here's the bottom line question that shows it goes to proof of conviction. I'm going to put a Syrian family on uh, in your neighbor's homes on both sides of you, and I'm going to uh, ask your your town where you live to take in a hundred families. Uh, you have no problem. I have no problem. I think most Americans have no problem. I think that uh, we've shown throughout our history that that crisis uh, brings out the best in us, not the worst in us, and now's not a time to change that. How do you best teach Americans, reteach Americans, that this is indeed uh, part of the inscription on the base of the Statue of Liberty, uh, of all things, of course, a gift from the nation we're, we're, we're covering, having suffered such a, a terrible terrorist attack. I think we just have to keep reminding them of that. I mean, our, our country was built on immigrants. We've welcomed refugees uh, for our, the entire history of our nation. We've taken, uh, you know, three quarters of a million refugees since 9-11 when this concern uh, has, has been an issue. Uh, and so we just need to push back against the fear uh, and remember who we are. Dr. Colin Call, the uh, National Security Advisor to the Vice President of the United States. Dr. Call, thank you.